Here we go. Here we go. We're live. <gasps> Welcome. Oh, see, that one still doesn't look good. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Welcome to Everlasting Gifts TV and how to not be tech savvy. Okay. okay. We just, we, we've never done this before. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Hi. we're just There's my like head. bobbleheads this week. <laughs> okay, so maybe we do use it this way. Uh -huh. Just cut me off, who cares? I care. I don't like you to be cut off. Okay. <laughs> it's so cozy right. here. It is. I'm Jody. I'm Erin. <laughs> Welcome to Everlasting Gifts TV. And we should just start calling ourselves Dumb and Dumber because oh, there's a bug. <laughs> This week, we'd like to talk seriously about birthstones and their zodiac or astrology origins. Yes. Yeah. So, you take it. You did the uh, research. I did. You keep getting cut off on that one. Okay, I sorry. know I don't like being by me. <laughs> no, I love being by you. I just don't really to close to the you. wall. Here, let me try scooting you. this one back. Oh, I'm scooting this one this way a little bit. There we go. There we go. It was like magical. Yes, I know. Really a little something sh the shifty, something like all the way up to the. I roof know. It's like us. we have these really high ceilings or something. Yeah. It's yeah. Fancy. Yeah. One of these oh. days we'll figure out how to work technology stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. We had this really nice lady come in, and she asked, you know, why do birthstones go with particular ones? Right. And we looked at her like we were, duh, because uh, we didn't know. So well, I wasn't here. She wasn't here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so anywho, because a uh, smarty farty pooping party wasn't here, <laughs> I decided okay, it's a great subject for newsletter, great subject for our video this week, and a great thing for y'all to learn about. So. Um, just briefly, uh, like 3,000 years before God, Jesus, before God was born, before God, <laughs> before, before the baby Jesus came to visit, yeah. Moses's brother, brother, Aaron, Aaron, oh. he was a smarty party, 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 party too. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so he was a, I want to say priest, but that's not right. He was a, um, Cardinal? No. We no, got this he curious lore book. He, it was the high priest's breastplate, but <laughs> <laughs> three times fast. Let me. <clears throat> okay. So Aaron was a person of some sort. Anyway, he was a, gosh darn it. I, I want to say high priest, but I, I don't believe he was a priest. Anyway, he was a holy man with yes. great power. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and he had this wonderful solid gold breastplate, which we're yeah. talking about had to be like paper thin to wear it. It would yeah. have weighed so have. much. <gasps> yeah. Unless he was a strapping fellow. A young lad. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, many muscles. Um, and the breastplate had 12 stones on it. Yes. So four wide by three down or vice versa. I think like it that. was four across by three down. By three down. Yeah. Um, and we're actually reading in this curious lore book, but it's in the Bible. From Exodus. From Exodus 15 through 30. That's what those numbers mean, but you know, the X's and the V's, V's and the and I's. I's. Yeah, yeah, those are just confusing to those of us, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so as things have transpired over the years, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've all obviously picked up on the uh, birthstone bandwagon. Yep. And Tiffany and company. I, yeah did in the early, I think it was 1912. Yes. Um, and so they were kind of the ones who kicked it all into gear for us to be like, oh, what stone are you? I don't yeah. know. What stone are you? So um, there you have it. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Don't hang up. <laughs> hang up. Oh, God. I was just lost. I know. So anyway, so here at Everlasting Gifts, we've got a stone for that. Um, but we brought out the stones for every month. Yep. So. So. Shall we go through yeah, the stones? Yeah, go through them really quick. All right. Okay. January. Garnet. We have garnet bracelets. Red. February. Amethyst. Amethyst. Very Pretty. popular. March. Aquamarine. Lovely. April is diamond. Um, we didn't have a diamond <laughs> bracelet, so we are pretending. pretending this beautiful quartz is diamond. Diamond-esque. Diamond-esque, yes. Um, 
May. May. Emerald. <laughs> you had them all in line. I know, I know, and then I confused myself. <laughs> Emerald bracelet for May. And then June. Moonstone. Mm -hmm. Pretty. June July. can also be Alexandrite. Yes. Which is pretty cool. We, we did not have an have Alexandrite them. bracelet. It would be big bucks. Ugh, bigger bucks than big, yeah. July? July, yes. Ruby. Cute little ruby bracelet. August. Peridot. Unless you watch the cartoon and then it's Peridot. It's Peridot. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a cartoon and the characters are all gemstones and they actually call it Peridot. Is it a girl? I don't know. Oh. So Maybe. Because like her name could be Dot. Yeah. yeah I get yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. That might make uh, sense. What do we have? What month is that stone guy with? September. Ooh. Sapphire, Sapphire which is our mine. featured stone of yes. the week. Because it's so pretty. And it actually, oh, we're used to the blue. Yes. But sapphires come in a wide range of sure colors. Did. And this is our other sapphire bracelet that we carry, you guys. And it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Sapphire's her first stone. It is. Yeah. It's lovely. And then we have October. October. And we have the multi tourmaline. Or it can be opal. A lot of yes. you are going, what? It's opal. Right. Well, tourmaline's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. November. Oops. Citrine. Citrine. Or topaz. Either or. Whatever. And December. Turquoise. Good old turquoise. We've got little turquoise yeah. bracelets. Well, and I've heard just about any month can be replaced with pearl. Really? Yeah. I don't know where I heard that. I don't know where I heard that either. Okay. It could have been a lie. Did somebody lie to me in my life? I don't yeah. know. Pearl. Could be. Maybe. Pearl's also June, I thought. Hmm. I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I don't I, know. You know what? Who knows? Because there, know. you look in this place and it tells you one thing. You look in that place, it tells you another. So... It's yep. all good. Just you like you. it, wear it. Yep, we're all about you, do you. Mm -hmm. um, For sure. So the one stone that I wanted to concentrate on this week is actually her birthstone because um, it's her birthstone. And mm -hmm. so it's sapphire and I started reading a little bit on it and it kind of played into a whole bunch of things yes. that are going on in your life right, right now, which it was sure super does. cool. Yeah. Um, so it helps to mend bones um, with the titanium thing. Right. Right, and my mom actually has a broken hip right now, mm -hmm. and she was uh, put back together with titanium. So apparently, that's really good for helping, helping that heal. It heal and, and the inflammation. The, yeah, associated. and the incision place too. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what it said? Yeah. So what she needs. Yeah, I thought that was kind of. I know it's really it, cool. It's always weird that kind of stuff happens and around here. It helps here. support memory. Yeah, it helps to eliminate and frustration. Brain. Um, it helps with the treatment of blood disorders. That's pretty cool. This paper right here says. So, uh, ah, just, um, yeah, yeah. It's a stone of prosperity. Mm -hmm. Oh, frustration. You know what? I don't think I ever realized the frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Anger and frustration were one of the cool. things that I read. Yeah. Um, and I know one. that having someone who's ill or something like yeah. that can oh. be a bit frustrating. Yes. And yeah. she gets frustrated too because she can't do, you know, half the things she wants to do. Right. So. Bummer. And then I get annoyed because she tries to do them. So, <laughs> and then yes. she hurts her head. Win win. And, yeah, it's just a vicious circle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so uh, we do carry some astrology things. Uh, obviously, we have the stones, but we do carry some astrology slash zodiac, which all kind of intermesh yes. here at the store. Meshing. Not enough. We were discussing. No, we, we don't. We do not have enough astrology stuff here. I know. But we do have a really nice set of cards. Positive astrology cards. Yes. And it's got all sorts of interesting things. It's got cards about sun signs, moon signs, ascendant signs, planets, the house system, further astrology. Ooh. And then it's got five guard ca guide cards guard and cards. a guide box. <laughs> a book. God. <laughs> I just can't talk today. We you did good. You did good, Rita, my friend. Oh gosh, jeez. <laughs> She's got to go to her fall next class. <clears throat> Seriously, I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have this really one of our Bible books, which is um, the Chinese Astrology Bible. And if you've ever looked at any of the Bible books, they come in a wide variety. Um, they're kind of cool little books because they get to the point. Um, they have great illustrations in them. So Do we have an astrology, one. astrology Bible? We did have some. That's what I was looking for today. And oh. um, 
I didn't. Yeah, we're so out of, we're out of out. them right now. I see. So yeah. we usually do. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. So um. It's and a, if you ever come in when Connie is working, yeah, Connie is all about astrology. Right. Yeah. She knows her stuff. Mm -hmm. That one. What days yep. does Connie work? Wednesday and Saturday. So you come in Wednesday or Saturday and be like, Jody and Aaron sent me. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't use those names. Say no. Mo and Corinne Perfect. sent me. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Those names are better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw it on the dumb video. Um, <laughs> so this week, um, the same gal who came in and asked about the stones and um, the correlation is having a procedure. And she's a little afraid, of course, you know, if you're going to go in. So she wanted an oil that would help to calm mm -hmm. her, um, but that she would love, um, that sort of thing. So we did some experimenting and talking, and as you all know, if you come in, see the Ever Organics room, we'll help you do that. Yes, we will. Let's yeah. see what oils did you do? So um, okay. oh, she yeah. chose apricot oil as her carrier, okay. and then she did lavender for calming. Okay. She did the spearmint because she's also um, having some nausea. Oh, yeah. That would help. And then the sweet orange, because it's wonderful stuff. And uplifting. It's mm -hmm. uplifting and it's healing. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. We talked the, the whole thing about the orange peel. Yes. That, oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, so that's our oil for this week. And um, it's called Procedure Besieger. It's a really cool name. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this week. <laughs> Okay. Our, cla our class this week will be <gasps> Learning the, the tarot. tarot with Nance. Woo! The wizard. Nance, the tarot wizard. She looks like that. Oh, yeah. and we've got a wizard, wizard. up for adoption. <gasps> How clever. Did you do that on purpose? No, I didn't, but it seems like I did, huh? It does. Yeah. yeah so cool. he is actually a smoky amethyst. So if you can see, he's purple, but then he's, you know, smoky. Maybe he's a smoker. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> he needs a little orange peel. Yeah. Um, and we have a lot of these. If you haven't seen our video on them before, you guys, but um, the wizards are super cool. So if yeah. you're a Lord of the Rings, <laughs> one ring to rule them all. Harry Potter. Yeah. Kind of looks like Dumbledore. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's, you know. yeah, he's he is kind of cool looking. Look. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. So <laughs> he would love to come home and be your new companion pal guy. Fairy God Wizard. Your Fairy God Wizard. Okay, and last but not least, <gasps> Friday is the new moon. Can you guys help? A couple of weeks ago, I came to make some cologne out of essentials and use jojoba to base, and it's too oily and only lasts Vodka. 20 minutes. Yeah, if you're making the a vodka perfume. mixed with the oil, not in your yeah. mouth. No, no, no. Because <laughs> well, it, you might not feel the oiliness if you drink the vodka. Well, this yes, this is true. So but... would, would you say fifty fifty? Yeah. Um, let me see. Used to have as the base. It's too oily. Okay. So yeah, um, you can either mix the jojoba fifty fifty. Your mix with um, vodka, but it has to be. You know, over 80 proof. Um, because that's basically like what a perfume is made out of. Because right. I used to play with making them. But, um, or if you have the essential oils, you can just add them directly to the vodka. But just a small amount. Look yeah. online for like a perfume recipe. Yeah. You know, you might want to start with a third vodka yeah. and two yeah. thirds oil. Uh, yeah. And mix it and go from there. Yeah. And see how. Yeah. See if, if it's improving. Um, probably I, not. Probably not. <laughs> um, just because we don't have any way of um, charging for that, because our charges are based on the carriers that we have. Um, I don't know. I mean, we, we could talk to her, but I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, we'll I be would able just. To. I would just do it at home. Go get a Dollar Tree bo Dollar Tree bottle. Uh -huh. You know, and you, like if you got two ounces of jojoba with the drops in it, uh -huh. you know, maybe do a little less than half an ounce. Yeah, experiment mix it. with the, the amount, the ratios. Yeah, and mix it good and see how it feels on your skin and go yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah, because that'll make it a little less. But make sure to shake it up really well anytime right. you want to use it. Right. 
Right. And, and next time, like, apricot uh, seems to absorb in much better. Well, also, we have the Hydra sprays with uh, witch hazel, and then we also have one with distilled water. Adding the Ooh, oils to those. The witch hazel might be. Yeah. Real. Adding it to the witch hazel. She's so smart. As a spray. When I grow up. That will work super right well, here. too. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we out of here? I think we're out of here. Okay. Our job is done. Yep. See Bye. you guys later. Have a good week. <laughs>